Yeah, I've been studying data breaches for a long time. Uh, started up the Verizon's Data Breach Investigations Report a number of years ago, and s something that always struck me in that research as we dug through the findings, the ashes, if you want to call it that, of, of major incidents, is just you know why these things happen and what went wrong and how organizations could have responded differently. And and I was always just amazed at the the difference between say the time to initial infiltration of a network and the time until an organization discovered that. And then once they discovered it, the amount of time that it took to uh, stop the bleeding and, and remediate the problem and get back to normal. And, and that span of time essentially comes down to security operations. And for the you know decade and a half that I've been studying this, that's just been a persistent problem. And I think now we're finally getting to the point where we're actually doing something positive about it. And the mentality has shifted, not only in the way that we manage security, but in products and services that are offered, right? It's not all about prevention. There's a ton of detection and response in there. And I think that's good and healthy. And um, those that do that well are sometimes the ones that, even if they do have an incident, it's not the kind of incidence that's a majorly bad PR, right? Um, because, hey, we all know that some, some bad things happen sometimes. And I really think the separating the sheep from the goats is the way that you handle that and respond to it. The structure or makeup of security operations is, is changing, right? We, when I at least think of it, I came from an MSSP background, so I think of a very rigid SOC with uh, three tiers and analysts who do this and then they hand it off to this if they can't you know, extend or close out the incident and, and so on and so forth. And that model is actually only about half of the respondents in this study. The rest are using these mixed teams of different levels and roles and working together to resolve incidents. And, uh, and I, I think that's kind of a shift, large scale, in the in the security operations space is that that it's changing, and I think that's I think that's important. Most people are going to be uh, affiliated with if they work in a SOC, which is the overwhelming volume of things that we have to deal with. Now, whether that's threat events or things that need to be fixed or whatever it is, it's just the volume of stuff we have to handle is massive. Um, the shortage of people to handle those things, right? Everybody reports people, either not enough people or not enough people with the appropriate level of skills, right? That's a universal challenge. Um, then there's, once you have that, how, how do we work an event from the process of it comes on our radar down to where it's closed? And that's a mess too. You know, a lot of people struggle with making that uh, streamlined as possible uh, without as many barriers. I mean, we all have silos in our organization. And, and so all of those things just increase that amount of time that it takes to deal with it. Yeah, burnout is a huge issue. I hear analysts talk about that all the time. It's one of the top reasons they don't like their jobs and they want to go somewhere else. Of course, they, they jump and the grass is not always greener on the other side of the fence because burnout's an issue there too. So, so the, the automation use of um, artificial intelligence and other things like this are trying to reduce the amount of those just mundane, repetitive tasks that smart people are ensnared with, right? And you want to free them up to do the things that require higher levels of intelligence, allow them to apply their skills. And generally, from what I've seen, that leads to happier analysts, which leads to better outcomes. So organizations that are struggling with this, you know, the volume and the burnout problems, I see a lot of them turning to orchestration, automation, uh, because it solves a real problem, right? It, it helps with the issue of uh, analysts trapped by these low-level events that suck brain time and people time. Um, and they're trying to free up extra time to do you know, some of the more mature things. And we've seen that that actually carries to a higher level of maturity in the SOC. Um, but the, the sore solutions, I'm, I'm, I'm very... Um, uh, positive in outlook about those because again it solves this issue that we've been dealing with for years and years and years and it hits right on exactly what needs to be addressed.